Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to another Looney Tunes World of Mayhem video. In this video, we're going to be talking about this guy right here. This guy, right over here. This is Star Pharaoh Marvin, got him unlocked. And I tell you, I've been having quite a bit of fun, no regrets whatsoever. So we're going to go over his kit as far as where I have him now, and we're going to jump into some gameplay so I can show you what kind of fun I've been having with this guy. But first, before we do, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. All right, Star Pharaoh Marvin. We're going to get right into it because a lot of this is going to be gameplay. So let's take a look where I have him right now. So I have him at level 59, maxed him out. And as far as tune-ups, I was able to get him up to a tune-up 22. I'm going to work through getting everything else so I can get some more tune-ups because this guy's awesome and I can't wait to max this guy out. So where I have him right now, so his basic right here, deal 320 damage to target enemy, inflicting all enemies with, all, all enemy support with two attack down. This one right here, deal 471 damage to target enemy with 10 plus 10% 10 piercing for each buff on this tune. This is going to be very important when you take a look at his passive. So this is God King's Decree. This one right here. So at the start of this tune's turn, it gains one of each stat up for the rest of battle. So that's why God King's Decree is so dependent on buffs. Because as you get more buffs on this guy, then uh, he does more damage. Then heals your team for 16 health for each stat up on it. Again, so it increases damage and it increases health. Well-rounded, his passive here just uh, gains defense, attack, and speed. And then finally, uh, no, not finally, but uh, Omnikinesis. Uh, so whenever this tune receives one or more debuffs, flip two of those debuffs. Now that does improve. I think it, it, it flips four once you max it out. And then pass forward once per each of this tune's turns. Whenever an enemy heals, inflict all enemies with two speed down and one to two speed ups and gain one to two speed ups. So really cool kit. And I think really what what comes into play for this one is this right here you're going to deal damage and plus 10 percent piercing for each buff on this tune so it's going to chew through defense all right so that is where i currently have this guy we're going to jump into a couple different things uh I'm, we're going to jump into arena and we're going to jump into brawl but let's go ahead jump into brawl first no brawl it's this one is tough because um I'm going up against everybody who's just just way more powerful than I am. So let's see let's see who we can find. All right, so this is with a team I'm going to go up against. I've got Hippity Hopper, massive damage. I've got Star Pharaoh, awesome damage. I got Yosemite for some extra buffs, and then I've got Devil Dog for the debuffs. So let's go ahead and jump into this one. Look at the power level too: 28k against the 36k team. All right, so first and foremost, what I need to make sure is to protect Star Pharaoh. Now you can throw Foghorn in here to get an immediate taunt. But uh, this guy right here, Devil Dog, is more powerful than my Foghorn right now. So I need to work on Foghorn a little bit. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do these buffs right away because that's immediately going to help with Star Pharaoh's damage and healing ability. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get, uh, get Hippity Hopper ready. Get that taunt right off the bat. Took the taunt away, which really sucks. All right, I only have a few... I only have a few, um, yeah, so we're going to do this, actually. Let's go ahead, work on this guy. Hippity Hopper is going to work on Hector. I need to get that taunt up again. It didn't really help that, uh, see, look at massive damage there from Hippity Hopper. All right, so let's go ahead and get those debuffs going. But look at all the buffs that Star Pharaoh is starting to rack up. It's going to help with his heal and his damage, as we've talked about. All right. So now, actually, I'm not going to worry about Hippity Hopper's speed up right now. Uh, let's go down here. It's all those all those buffs and see what kind of piercing damage we did. Quite a bit. Look at that. Now my Scrooge was a little bit low, but let's go ahead and use another team without Scrooge. 
And this time instead, I threw Dr. Dogstein to get, a, to get rid of all the debuffs. Alright, we gotta keep them away from Pharaoh. There we go. Alright, there's some debuffs. Get rid of that. Alright, what do we got? Let's see if we can take care of this guy here pretty quick. Boom! Took him down. Get those debuffs going. Let's see. Who do I want to take? Oh, I can't take care of anybody other than da than uh, Monster Foghorn up there. So we'll focus on that. Let's see if we can get a stun. Boom! And there we go. Now, I'm going to change it up just a little bit for the next one. And this one here, I add some extra support. Adding Granny in there is also really cool because of the synergy that she has with Hector. Now, there's so many different variety of teams that you can put Star Pharaoh in. But he's been working really, really well. Now, I haven't settled on my favorite team yet. I'm just putting a, him into a bunch of different teams and just really having a lot of fun. Now, Star Pharaoh does, like right here, look at this. Star Pharaoh does do plus 50% attack when attacking a Bugs Bunny tune. So we're going to go after, after this guy right here. Boom. Boom. Let's get that going. All right. Hector's hurting a little bit right there. So close. He was... He was a little further down on my roster, though. Uh, I'm going to hit this guy. Take uh, some buffs away and some turn meter away. Let's get rid of this guy. And toast! Very, very nice. This guy is so much fun to play with. He also has, he also has, if the other team has any masterminds, then he gains, what is it that he gains? Let's take a look at that real quick. Um, he gains what? I think he gains attack. Right here. So at the start of battle, if any mastermind tune is in battle on an enemy team, this tune gets plus 15% attack. So something to keep in mind there as well. All right, let's go ahead, jump into arena and uh, I'm going to put him on a defensive team here. So this one right here goes right in. I want to protect Starfell right off the bat. And so I've got two tanks here. I've got screws for the extra buffs. And then I have, uh, obviously, Starfell. We'll see how well he does. I get some mixed results there. But if you can keep them away from Star Pharaoh, my other tanks that I don't use regularly, like I said, I need to work on Foghorn, but um, if you can keep them away from Star Pharaoh, then you're golden. All right, let's jump into here and uh, 30K team. Team I've, been team I've been using in here lately is this team. So let's go ahead and jump in there. Because I think he could be a really good defensive tune as well. Gonna work on this guy. But him and Hippity Hopper together are dangerous. You don't have to have them together, but man. I'm gonna save her. Let's see. Let's get rid of uh, Black Knight. 
Um, let's work on this guy. Not really afraid of Granny's heal over time over there because I can get rid of it. Granny's holding on by a sliver. She might not make it. She's slowly coming back. There we go. We got this. Let's see how well they're doing against my Star Pharaoh. All right, here we go. Boom, they both went through it. Oh, they beat, like, they got max points out of it. But I don't even have the, have the guy max, and I really need to get some better tanks in there um, to really protect that. So I think, I think we'll be good once we get that going. I think he, I think he could be a good tune. I'm still working some stuff out on him, but uh, as you can see, he's a lot of fun to play. Boom, Barber Bugs is done. Nice. Boom, those heal over times are done. He almost got it taken out. And there we go. Oh, and so close. So close to taking that first spot. All right, everybody, and that's what I had for you today. Star Pharaoh Marvin, I think he's fantastic. Question is, is he the best tune in the game now? You guys let me know. Tell me, guy, tell me what you think, and have you unlocked Star Pharaoh Marvin? Um, and if you have, definitely let me know your thoughts about that as well. All right, everybody, as always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody. We'll talk to you next time.